Hello everyone, this is the Low 8 8-track tape backup device which I've put together out of an old 8-track stereo and an old SCSI uh, tape, uh, tape drive. Um, it is currently working. I've got this old piece of junk Charlie Pride tape that I've been using for testing which I'll pop in. Hooked up through a USB cord to this here computer. So I've got a command line tool here that allows me to switch uh, tracks and do various things with the device. So I can switch to track 1 for example. You can hear it go thunking its way through. Let's go back to track 4. You can hear this thing go. And let's see what's on the tape. So I'll just give it a read command. And this thing is slower than you might imagine. You can see it's less than typing speed. But it's working. It's using DTMF codes, so touch tone dialing codes. And there's a couple of glitches there, it looks like. Uh, the tape is really poor quality and it's quite old, so I've had to drop the speed down to this level just to get it to be somewhat reliable. Um, I'm sure there's some things I can do to improve that, but uh, wow, this is a really poor example. It's actually usually better than this, but uh, I think when I move the heads back and forth, it does lose its uh, alignment somewhat. Um, so basically, I can write to tape, I can read from the tape. Uh, that's the record button down there. And I've got, like an old CD-ROM drive, you can see in the back here I've got a couple of RCA jacks on the output. So if I turn up the stereo, you'll hear what it's using to encode. So that's left and right stereo tracks, each with a different DTMF code. Um, doing less than four bits a piece because I've had to do some software hacks to increase the reliability with, as you can see, limited results. Anyway, that's a track for you. It's a uh, frankly poorly designed piece of garbage and I kind of like it somehow. Thanks for watching and uh, check out cassettepunk.com for more of the same.